Ah, yeah, back here on the Sports Monarchy. Baseball in the air. Ah, yes, my favorite time. It's coming to an end. Ah, yes, that's why it's my favorite time. World Series between the glorious Boston Red Sox and the glorious St. Louis Cardinals, two of the uh, my most favorite teams because their fans are just so loyal and they they those teams struggle so much oh, the past yes. 10 years. They're just never good, and it's good to finally see those teams in the World Series. It really is. You know, I really enjoy the change in baseball, especially when you see these teams that, you know, they struggle for two years and they're just back to being on top, you yeah. know? I mean... The Cardinals have not been in the World Series for a whole two years. I mean, they missed out last year. And they came, you know, within a game of making it last year. But they just couldn't get it done. And I'm glad to see them they get over the it. this year. They deserve it. You know, I feel good for them. I'm really... <sighs> when it comes to Boston, too, you know, they've really been beat up when it comes sports-wise the past 10, 12 years. Oh, my. Uh, I feel for them. I mean, even, even in Buffalo sports, nothing compares to what Boston has gone through. I mean, they've only... Won, I think, six championships or so, maybe seven in the past 10 years. Celtics returned to form. The Patriots were winning a few Super Bowls, but that was almost 10 years ago. That's a whole nother lifetime. Lots of people have died since then. Yeah. There's definitely people who aren't alive. Definitely. Mostly young people in Africa, probably, but still, who aren't alive. You know. Uh, The Bruins? What have they done? Nothing. Not really. I mean, they. Oh, yeah, they won the Stanley Cup, what? Two years ago, and they were in it last year. Oh, that's a lockout season; it doesn't even count. Yeah, you know, I just I feel for a man. They really do. They just they have it so hard. It's tough, and it's good to see the Red Sox in the World Series because they haven't been there since 2007 when they swept the Colorado Rockies. Especially when teams like Detroit, you know, they just. I don't feel bad for them at all. They've never been bad. No, no, not at all. No, our team's like Baltimore. With the Pirates, like screw them. It's like just chill out with your success. Yeah, you made the playoffs, all right, for the first time in twenty years. That's enough. You don't have to keep going in the playoffs. Yeah, just enjoy what you have. Let's now. leave it up to the teams who haven't won a championship in a year. Kansas or two. City, they're the ones that deserve it. Kansas City, you haven't been five hundred in about twenty years, and you finally did it. So, all right, you don't have to make the playoffs this year. You finally got eighty wins. That's good enough. All right. Let Boston and St. Louis have their moment, which they're having, and they're playing the World Series. No, and I, I really feel for Boston too, because. That phantom tripping call when he threw up his legs on accident. Whoops, my legs went up. Let you know, me curl everyone my was. Leg. I'm just doing leg curls imaginary. You know, I feel bad for their fans because you know what? Sometimes when I'm laying down, I'm just like, I want to throw my legs up. I feel bad because you know what? Boston never gets any calls. Ever. Ever. Especially not in football. They no. never get a single the Patriots, call. The, I mean, did you see the Jets game? Oh, that call went against them? Oh, Couldn't that happens all the time. Seriously, I, the refs are always against Boston. They finally got a break this past week when they were playing the Dolphins, and they got a penalty on the Dolphins after a sack strip of Tom Brady, and they did the right call. The player took the ball, and he batted it while it was on the ground. That's a penalty, so it was automatically New England ball. Yeah. It's good that they finally got a call in their favor. You know, It's I good swear. that they finally got a crappy rule call in their favor. Yeah. Because it never happens. Ever. I mean, the Bills have just been taking advantage of them for years and years and years. So of the Jets, I feel bad. I kind of feel bad They're as a victims. Jets fan. They're victims. They, they are. The NFL definitely doesn't want to see any rules. I mean, it's not like they've ever made a rule just for Tom Brady. Come on. I mean, it's not like they ever got caught recording things or doing things illegally. No. They were probably doing that because they were getting called for so many penalties. Yeah. They were like, look, this, we're we trying, can't do this anymore. They we're were just, trying to fix your game. Exactly. They were trying to make visual evidence of that happening. And that's all they were trying to do. I mean, think about it. Boston, even like the Red Sox, they had to live through those two te- terrible years under Valentine. That guy's a nut job. He was, what, he was coaching in Japan before. He was Crazy. probably speaking in Japanese to the players, and they had no idea what he was talking about. No, no idea. Oh, man, last year, they had to finish last place last year. Do you know what that feels like to finish the last place? Yeah. I mean, especially like... If you look at other teams who've had it rough, like Indianapolis, like think about how tough they had it. Having that crappy Peyton Manning guy breaking records for years and years and taking him to the playoffs every year. I mean, they, I mean, they, you know, they did get one Super Bowl, so I guess, I 
yeah, that's kind of rough. And then, you know, they bottomed out. What they were, like, what? Were they 2 and 14 that year? Yes. I mean, think about how rough that one year was. And they passed, like, 15 years of greatness they've had. Is it worth it to have that one terrible yeah, year? I don't think so. It's tough. It's tough. Can't believe Boston. Good for them. Good for Boston. I'm St. happy. Louis. Good. So it's 2-2. Two to two. Who do you think is taking this one home when it's all said and done? Game 5 tonight. Series tied at 2. Well, you know, you really have to feel for the Cardinals in the you know, two years between their championships. Like I understand it's been a couple more years for Boston, but <sighs> Cardinals, man, they just they got to take it. It was even rougher for St. Louis. I mean, they came so close last year. Exactly. It was just tease. I, I heard Boston was pitching with blue baseballs. Just couldn't get the job done. So I mean, think- especially like with, uh, you know, there's definitely not any players cheating for either team by like putting any sort of weird substance in their No, glove. no, not at all. They They're would never do that to get Reaching to auspiciously. No. And the HD cameras aren't catching that, even if it was happening, but it's not. Yeah, it's not happening. These no. teams got here fair and square. Completely fair and square. I just really enjoy the turnover in the MLB. I really do. It's good to see some different teams. It is. Some different faces. Uh, David Ortiz, I've never seen him in clutch position before, in these situations before. You know what? That's the other thing for Boston is it's nice they have a big fat guy in there who can really show off the fact how athletic he is and how hard he trains and how hard he watches his diet for the game of baseball and how you really need to be in tip-top shape and form yeah you know he came through you know all that beer and chicken stuff that the red sox are going through how tough his life was yeah in that locker room they were only letting them nap during games probably they had a room where they could you know have their way with women they probably had hd tvs everywhere think about that they probably only had 32 inch hd tvs in that locker room while they were playing the game when they went and wiped their butts with probably gold toilet paper think about that during a game is that really what you want to do do you want to be subjected to those terrible conditions? You know what? Those guys at that one college, they're complaining about moldy walls. Grambling. And and, uh, and all this stuff. And you know what? I don't feel bad for you because you know what? They were wiping their butts with only gold toilet paper there in Boston and only taking breaks and taking naps when they felt like it during the game. And I got to feel bad for them. They were getting drunk during the game. I mean, like, it was probably off, you know, only like $5,000 bottle of wine. You're playing in the MLB. You need to get a solid $10,000 bottle of wine for in between innings. 